So I'm currently back in the States now. It's been actually several months since my last video in Australia, though it's just been probably a week since I've released it on YouTube, just because I made a lot of videos on my last road trip around Australia, so I had kind of a backlog and was kind of slowly releasing them. But uh, yeah, now I'm in uh, Yellowstone National Park, where I'm going to be living for about the next five months, so a lot of my next videos will be from Yellowstone. That's one of the greatest things about being here in Yellowstone, just the countless amounts of wildlife you can see and get the opportunity to photograph. So uh, right now, I'm about to head out and look for some bighorn sheep and anything else I can find. So I'm on this trail between uh, Gardner, which is just behind me, and Mammoth Hot Springs, which is in front of me. And uh, yeah, as I said, I took kind of a break from photography for a bit and stayed at home for several months in Ohio through the winter. But now it's spring, it's April, and I'll be working for a company at a resort. To, I'll be running a restaurant up in Mammoth Hot Springs for the summer. So yeah, I'll have plenty of opportunity to get out and about has been a minute since I've been hiking, especially with all my photography gear, so need to get back into it and get back into shape. So it started to rain a little bit, so I'm kind of taking cover under this big pine tree here. Um, it looks like it's going to pass. It's nice out here because you can really see the weather. So I get to kind of see the rain blowing in, so I kind of booked it over to here to this cover. But yeah, it looks like it's almost clearing up, and I'll keep pressing on. So it is always a little bit eerie hiking through bear country. Um, you got to be super careful, obviously. And it's good to make noise, so it's good I'm kind of filming and talking because you don't want to surprise the bears because they'll know of your presence. Oh, it's kind of like snow hailing now. So the weather took a pretty bad turn up here on the mountain. Um, and it looks like more bad weather is coming in. But down there by Gardner, it's pretty nice. So I think I'm going to make my way down the mountain here. I did climb most of the way to the top. Didn't see any sheep. A bunch of tracks and a bunch of scat. But I think I'm going to give up on the sheep today. Kind of keep spotting on my way down. And there is kind of some bison in the plains way down there. So I might try and photograph them for tonight. So hopefully I'll be able to come away with some sort of image. So I started to give up and was hiking back down, but then I looked at my binoculars and right up there on that crest is a couple bighorn sheep. So I'm gonna kinda hike up there and maybe try and get an image. You gotta make sure you stay 25 yards away though and you don't wanna disturb them or the rangers will get angry. And I'll tell you how I know that for a fact here in a little bit. pretty cool. Uh, no rams, these are just ewes I believe, and then young rams, because uh, during the spring and summer the rams will separate from the ewes. Um, in the fall the rams come together with the ewes for the rut, and they'll compete with their big horns and uh, just smash each other's head for dominance, uh, similar to like deer do. But I'm going to keep taking some pictures. so I have to keep moving back. Um, normally I'd want to get closer, but again, in Yellowstone National Park, you have to stay 25 yards away minimum from animals, uh, 100 yards away from wolves and bears, because uh, last time I was here, I was actually working in Yellowstone in 2017, so four years ago, and I was up in this same spot, 
I was getting a little bit uh, careless with the sheep and getting real close to them. And when I hiked down the mountain, there was a ranger waiting at my car and he wrote me a ticket for harassing the sheep. Um, I didn't believe I was harassing the sheep because I wasn't uh, being disrespectful, yelling at them, chasing them, or making them uncomfortable. But the ranger described harassing as my presence made them act different or made them move or change their behavior. So I understand that and I respect that now. But the problem is with these sheep is they keep coming towards me, so I gotta keep moving back because the rangers can see everything down there in Gardner. As you can see, the town of Gardner right behind me. But still, I'm at a pretty good distance. It looks like the sheep stopped moving, so I'm just gonna keep taking some more images. And I'm really not at the best uh, viewpoint to photograph these animals, because normally you always wanna be at eye level when you're doing wildlife photography, but I'm a little bit lower than them and they're higher up on the mountain, uh, just because, again, I don't wanna get too close. I think I might have gotten an image or two, because the one image I did get, the sheep had a radio collar on, because they do study these animals, so you'll see a lot of them with radio collars on whether it be bear, uh, elk, the bighorn sheep, even wolves, which is a bit disappointing, but from a conservation standpoint, I understand where they're coming from. And we don't have the best light today, but we do have overcast, so it's an even soft light, so it is better than harsh sunlight. And as for my settings, just basic settings, um, I'm just pretty much adjusting the ISO and the shutter speed to what's necessary. I actually did get a new uh, fluid head for my tripod. It's a Manfrotto video fluid head. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It helps me get a little bit smoother video. And so I'm hoping to get a lot more video while I'm here in Yellowstone of the wildlife. Yeah, but for the settings, nothing too crazy. I'm just trying to keep the shutter speed as quick as I can, just to try and freeze the motion, because the wind is blowing and the sheep are moving. They're coming down this way, so I'm gonna move over that way. It is really cool, though, to be able to be up here and spend time with these animals. They are pretty neat, the bighorn sheep. They can actually grow up to about 300 pounds, uh, and the male's horns never fall off, unlike deer antlers. They're just permanent all year round, and you can actually tell the age of the male by how many rings are on their horns. It's pretty much the bigger the horns, the older they are, because they never stop growing. Yeah, these are all uh, either young males or ewes here. Um, I'm not sure where the males are. I think in the summer they go way up in the high country, but these guys usually stay around here year-round. So I have plenty of opportunities during my five and a half months here to come back and photograph them a little bit more. So the sheep ended up going up across the mountain, which is unfortunate, but uh, I'm not gonna follow them anymore because it did start to rain again, so I packed all my stuff up. Um, so I'm gonna take the long hike down the mountain back to the car, way down there, and yeah, call it a day. I think I got a couple decent images of the sheep. Nothing too portfolio worth, but some good images. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the first video from Yellowstone. I'll have plenty more to come, a lot more uh, wildlife photography, and hopefully some landscape photography as well. Now, this park is amazing and simply beautiful with all the mountains and rivers, but it is a challenge for landscape photography. So my main focus is going to be on wildlife photography, but I'll still be sure to get out and take some nice landscape pictures. Well, that's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Look forward to some more Yellowstone videos to come. And I'll see you later.